The uh, clip after this is uh, it's just when I was playing about my camera because uh, it was a lovely day in February one of the hottest days of the year already and uh, I caught this before I was rushed to hospital Hey, you alright? How are you doing? Are you? Sorted, Not bad. Yeah, I've got to wait for a phone call from a doctor. It's one of them where they ring you up. What's the matter? If it takes two or three hours. Oh, no, exactly. But I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a cup of tea, another fag, walk down there, and then I'm gonna go to the hospital. So they've Is got a better. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Just oh. say, look, I can't wait for doctors for this. Woke up this morning. Yeah, woke up this morning, quarter three. Um, out of my sleep, like fucking stabbing pain in there. But I started panicking a bit because I couldn't get up because oh, okay. the pain was that bad. Yeah. And so I had to calm myself down as you do. Yeah. And uh, sort of wiggle me way out. You know, cabs are shit, aren't they, for, yeah. for getting, getting up like it. And uh, anyway, I started back down here at quarter past three this morning. Oh. You know, just to get back like I went waiting up there. Or I, was, I was just thinking, because my missus can't drive or anything, if I got sort of taken into hospital up there. Bit of a way to travel, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what it is though. Like I say, it could be hernia, couldn't it? Anything strenuous yesterday? Not really. Just climbing up and down that ladder. But I don't know. We'll see. Might, might be nothing, but it's best to have it the proper check. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I'll give him half hour and I'm, I'm going to shoot off to Kings Mill, I think. I would. I've had um, Monday I went to Newcastle do some jobs up there and uh, it was about quarter three Tuesday morning turned over in my sleep and had a stabbing pain in my stomach lower stomach and uh, I really struggled to, to get up I thought oh my god what's going on as you do panic stations and all that and uh, anyway, I got myself together, had a little walk around, hot drink, 
still hurting, but I managed to drive back to Nottinghamshire, back to the depot. Um, got my wagon ready for offloading and that, and uh, went down to the office, let transport know what was happening, that I was ringing the doctors for an appointment to see what was up. And uh, anyway, I rung for the doctors. Finally got through. Um, but the lines were busy, so it kept cutting me off. Eventually, I got onto the queue. I was tenth in line, waiting and waiting. Anyway, it turns out the doctor was going to ring me because there was no appointment. Uh, in this time, uh, I planned about my camera, um, which is the footage you'll see just before I had my little episode. And uh, anyway. I went back down to the office to let me know what was happening. Um, all my chest area cramped up. Uh, I think they and I thought I was having a heart attack, so an ambulance was called for. Uh, anyway, it turns out that I've got um, a severe intestine infection, probably diverticulitis, which is common in people over 40 apparently. Uh, bit of a wake up call, but good thing is I found out my heart's fine, lungs, kidneys, all that sort of thing, blood and whatnots. So uh, that's one good thing that come out of it. Like I say, it's just a wake up call. And uh, I think this was life telling me to, you know, be careful what I'm eating to exercise more. So I'm out walking the dog. I've been in agony for the last three or four days and just felt I should get out and walk about and see what happens. I can feel it still, but I'm all right. I'm getting there. I'm just a bit peeved off. I've got to cut my fried foods out and my burgers and stuff like that. Start eating sensibly. Oh my word, what's the world coming to? Anyway, that was it. What I would like to say is a big thank you to uh, my wife, my stepson David, uh, all my work colleagues, the ambulance crew who were brilliant, and also uh, Kingsmill Hospital staff that looked after me. Um, fantastic. First time for me in hospital. I've been lucky. So touch wood there. Thank you all.